in other positions that are less important. Uh, for example, in jiu-jitsu, you can never be a good jiu-jitsu student if you don't have a good open guard. Just, it's impossible to be good at jiu-jitsu and not have a good open guard. You can be a world-class jiu-jitsu competitor and have a super sucky, sucky close guard. Because all you got to do is open your legs and play a open guard. So closed guard is one of those games that's, that's up. It's not 100% necessary to be masterful at it. Um, where it does come in more into play is in no gi. So having a closed guard in no gi is a little bit more critical because you don't have as much stuff to grab onto um, to work your open guard game. So um, I know in my personal game, I play a lot more closed guard when I'm doing no gi. When I have gi on, I don't even do closed guard at all. Except for very specific matchups where it doesn't necessarily most part not. But what I want to show you tonight is an offensive closed guard game and not a defensive. So sometimes when people play uh, closed guard, they play a defensive game, which is, it looks like this. Here's what a defensive closed guard game looks like. I get my closed guard and lock it up. We're going to do like this and then wait for Brooks to break it open. It's like, oh, I broke it. Okay, now I'm going to play guard. That's a defensive closed guard game, and that game sucks, so we don't want to play that game at all. We want to um, work a little bit of offensive uh, closed guard game where you're actually trying to accomplish some stuff with your closed guard. You're trying to improve your position, uh, even get some submissions from there, and not just hold on until the guy breaks us open. If you're doing the hold on until the guy breaks you open, then that's just a useless game. So we're going to start with uh, a drill here, and what I'm going to do is the bottom guy is going to uh, have closed guard, and the top guy is going to posture. My entire goal from the bottom is to break down this posture. So if I get a, if I get boots broken down, I'm going to break him down, hold him for a few seconds, and then let him back up. Then I'm going to break him down again, and I'm going to pin him, hold him for a couple seconds, and let him back up. That's all I want you to do. So he's not going to try to escape or anything. He's just going to resist the being broken down. Top guy is coach. And as coach, it means you give just the right amount of resistance. So you want the bottom guy to be working hard but having some success. The bottom guy's not having some success, you're working too hard for the top. Okay? Let's start with that. I'll tell you when to switch. 